Bonjour Year 8, welcome to Lesson 9 of the second summer half term and we're continuing today looking at the topic of technology. Here's a list of the equipment you need for this lesson today. You will need the exercise book that the school gave you, a pen and a ruler, your knowledge organiser for module 6 which is on class charts and wordreference.com open on a tab as well as a web browser to look up any vocabulary you cannot find in your knowledge organiser. Pause to get that ready now. Remember to email me if you've got any questions about the lesson today and here's my email address. I also want to see that you're maintaining neat and accurate notes as well as completing tasks that show your own use of language that you've been learning in class with Miss Turner. So when you see the camera icon, take a photo of the task ready to submit to class charts. Copy la date, lundi 22 juin. Et le titre, l'appareil photo numérique, c'est le meilleur cadeau which is a digital camera is the best present. And write down the objective l'objectif to use superlatives in French. And please underline your date and title now. Okay, year eight, now it's time for your do now. As you can see, the sentences one to four are totally jumbled up in French and they make no sense at all. Your job is to unscramble the sentences and write them in the correct way in your book in French. Then your job is to translate each sentence into English. Pause to do that now and press play to check your answers. Okay, numéro 1. Le téléphone portable est plus utile que la montre intelligente. That is the mobile phone is more useful than the smartwatch if you've written it in that order. Now, you could have written it either way because you could have said la montre intelligente est plus, plus utile que le téléphone portable. And the reason either would be acceptable is that utile stays the same in the masculine singular and the feminine singular. So that would have stayed the same no matter which of the different nouns you had at the start. Okay. Numéro 2. La manette est moins chère que les écouteurs sans fil. The games controller is cheaper or less expensive than the wireless headphones. In this case, you had to have la manette at the start because the share here agrees with the feminine singular, which we have here. And les écouteurs sans fil are masculine and plural, so it does have to be this way round in this case. Trois. L'enceinte connectée est aussi cool que l'appareil photo numérique. The smart speaker is as cool as the digital camera. Okay, again, this could have been in the opposite order as well. Okay, it could have been l'appareil photo numérique est aussi cool que l'enceinte connectée. Okay, because cool works, stays exactly the same in the feminine and in the masculine as well. And they're both singulars, so that would have worked. Quatre. Le téléphone portable est Et mieux que la montre intelligente. So the mobile phone is better than the smartwatch. Now you saw mieux last time and that is irregular. And again, you could have had la montre intelligente et mieux que le téléphone portable for this one as well. Okay, I'm going to pass you to Madame Turner now. She's going to teach the rest of the lesson. I really look forward to seeing your work. Please upload it as soon as you can after the lesson to class charts. Merci la classe, au revoir. Activité 1. I'd like you now to put down your pens, really listen 
and focus at the information that you're reading on screen. Let's get started. Today we'll be looking at superlatives. Superlatives are used when comparing nouns and saying that one of them is the most or the least something, for example, the most interesting or the least exciting. In English, we often add the suffix est, est. For example, we wouldn't say that something's the most big, we'd say biggest. You wouldn't say that something is the most loud, you would say loudest or smelliest, for example. In French, for adjectives that come after the noun, which is most of them, sentences would go like this. C'est la matière la plus intéressante. It's the most interesting subject. Literally, we're saying it is C, the, la, subject, matière, it's the subject, the, la, most, plus, interesting, interessant. Again, it's the subject, the most interesting. It's the most interesting subject. Notice also that the adjective does need to agree with the noun that you're describing. Another example. C'est la matière la moins utile. It's the least interesting or the least useful subject. Look closely. It is the subject, the least useful. C'est la matière la moins utile. We know also in French that there are some adjectives that come before the noun, which are those describing beauty, age, goodness or size. You might remember me referring to them in lessons as bags adjectives. B-A-G-S, bags. If you're using a bags adjective, the sentence would go like this. C'est le plus grand pays de l'Europe. It's the biggest country in Europe. Or literally, it is C'est le, the, plus, most, grand, big, pays de l'Europe, country in Europe. It's the most big, so that means the biggest, country in Europe. Another example, c'est la moins jolie maison. It's the least beautiful house. There are, of course, some exceptions. The adjective bon, which was um, irregular for the comparative as well. You would say le meilleur, for example, Il est mon meilleur ami. He's my best friend. Or the adjective the worst. Le pire. C'est le pire jour de ma vie. It's the worst day of my life. I hope you never have to use that phrase, but it is quite a good one. OK, now I would like you to copy this grammar note very carefully into your book, paying attention to presentation. Um, adding in highlighting and underlining where you see it would be useful. Take five minutes to do that. Pause the video now. Activité 2. Copy and complete the sentences with the superlative structure suggested in brackets. Use your notes that you just wrote to help you. You have 10 minutes. Pause the video now. Well done, Year 8. Let's see how you did. 1. Le baladeur MP3 est le cadeau le plus intéressant. The MP3 player is the most interesting present. 
2. L'organiseur électronique est le cadeau le moins utile. The electronic personal organizer is the least useful present. 3. Le portable est le cadeau le plus cher. The mobile phone is the most expensive present. 4. Les écouteurs sans fil sont le cadeau le plus cool. The wireless headphones are the coolest present. 5. L'enceinte connectée est le cadeau le moins imaginatif. The smart speaker is the least imaginative present. 6. L'iPhone est le meilleur téléphone portable. The iPhone is the best mobile phone. 7. L'écho est le pire enceinte connectée. The Amazon Echo is the worst smart speaker. Check your work carefully, make any changes that you need to in a different colour, and take a photo of your work to submit to class charts. Activité 3. Listen to the friends discussing what to get for Luke's birthday. Fill the grid in in English. You'll notice that today I've provided lots of different suggestions for what you could use to fill in the grid. Um, so please take your answers from the options provided at the bottom of the screen. Page 101. Exercice 7. Écoute la discussion, copie et remplis la grille. En anglais. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on achète pour l'anniversaire de Luc Bon, un organiseur électronique PDA À mon avis, c'est utile. C'est plus utile qu'un baladeur, mais c'est assez cher. Oui, je suis d'accord, c'est trop cher. Un baladeur MP3, c'est élégant et pratique. Oui, mais je trouve que c'est un peu démodé. Mais tiens, un appareil photo numérique, à mon avis, c'est amusant. Tu ne trouves pas Oh oui, tu as raison, mais c'est aussi cher. Oui, trop cher. Et un caméscope, c'est utile Oui mais, à mon avis, euh, c'est difficile à utiliser. Tu as raison. Je ne sais pas, c'est difficile. Bon, ben, j'ai la meilleure solution. Il a besoin d'un nouveau portable et ce n'est pas trop cher. Oui, bonne idée. Bon travail. I hope you found all those um, answer suggestions useful and were able to follow what you were hearing on the recording. Let's go through the answers. We had one example already, which was that the first item was a personal organizer. The advantage of that was that it was more useful than an MP3 player. Disadvantage, it's too expensive. Give yourself three marks for number one. If you'd just written it's too expen it's expensive rather than it's too expensive, you can still have a mark. Numéro 2. An MP3 player. Stylish, practical, old-fashioned. 3. A digital camera. Fun, expensive. 4. A video camera. Useful difficult to use. 5. A mobile phone, not too expensive. There was no disadvantage for this uh, last question because it is in fact the mobile phone that they decide to buy as a present. Take a photo of your work, pause the video now.
Activité 4. For our last activity, I'd like you to fill in the gaps in each version of the text to create an accurate translation in French and English in your book. There are 12 gaps to fill in and you will need to find the missing word in the opposite text. For example, the first gap, it says la something dernière. I look on the other side, it says last week. So I know that my first gap in French needs to be the French word for week. You might know it, you might need to look it up, but that's what goes in the gap. You have 15 minutes to write both texts into your book. Pause the video now. Bien, let's go through it. So, like I said, the first missing word in French should have been the word for week, which was semaine. La semaine dernière, c'était mon anniversaire. Last week, it was my birthday. J'ai reçu beaucoup de cadeaux. I received lots of presents. Le meilleur cadeau, the best present, in my opinion, à mon avis, is the new iPhone. C'est mon nouvel iPhone. I find that it's less complicated. Je trouve que c'est moins compliqué et plus facile and easier to use à utiliser que mon dernier portable than my last mobile phone. I love my new smartwatch. J'adore ma nouvelle montre intelligente parce que c'est vraiment élégant. Because it's really stylish. And I think that it's as useful. Et je pense que c'est aussi utile qu'un téléphone portable as a mobile phone. Check your answers carefully. Read through the text um, all in one go afterwards to check it makes sense. And give yourself a mark out of 12. Bon travail, year eight. Please email me if you have any questions about any of the activities in today's lesson. And here's my email address. And do remember to submit your work onto class charts for me to have a look at and give you a very well-deserved achievement point. Merci à classe, au revoir.